Lelei, Ko Kuingua, Ko Freedom, Salafalava, Ol Oingua, O Freedom. Kia ora, Ko Freedom to Kuingua. My name is Freedom Kahanui Bahakolo. I'm 22 and I've been very privileged to be in the tax and private service line at Deloitte. Because tonight we're running on Palangi time, I'm going to cut to the chase. <laughs> I'm extremely grateful to be here tonight. And here's why. I was the 43rd grandchild born to an immigrant Tongan Samoan man. Koko was one of my four loving grandparents, and he was very special to me. He would be here tonight sitting in his wheelchair if he was still alive. I am a direct recipient of his calloused hands and his hope that his descendants could live out their dreams in this new land of Aotearoa. His name was Sione Vahakolo, and he raised his large whanau in Otara, South Auckland. Hashtag 274 represent. I'm very proud to be Tongan, Samoan, Māori and European. Navigating the landscapes of these cultures alongside being a pastor's son made the journey of identity I walked at times excruciating. Too white to be Māori, Tongan and Samoan, and too brown looking to be European. A direct result of these variances and expectations influenced me to resent everyone I knew by the age of 12, where I began to repeatedly rebel this started a roller coaster of a journey for the high school years and a huge disconnection with my whanau and life as I knew it. My first and final years at high school was spent at Auckland Boys Grammar. But during those three years in between, I went to four other high schools. This roller coaster affected every area of my life, including studies, results, relationships, and identity. During these years, toxic pride had devastating consequences for me. And at 15, I found myself homeless for a significant period of time, trying to navigate how to pass NCA level one. And my trust in people had eroded greatly. My refusal to let grace embrace me when it was offered numerous times caused myself and others much heartache. The one thing that kept me going was my passion and talent for sport. And I believe coming out of that, that I'll play Super Rugby one day. The hardest thing I've ever had to do was ask my whanau for forgiveness and do what it took to earn back their trust. I'm not going to lie, we're still on that journey. On my way to Deloitte, there were mornings where I'd pass homeless people on the street. I had great empathy for them because I was once one of them. And I truly hope that their lives can become better too. One day I want to do something for them. And I will. So when I stand here tonight and say that I'm grateful, please understand that, that comes from a very real story. I'm grateful to Deloitte. It's a massive organization that competes at the top of the global game. If organizations are only as powerful as their people, then Deloitte is doing this very well. I want to make a quick shout out to my brothers on my table, TJ and Tupo. Let's go. Let's go. Last week, I had the privilege to fly down to Wellington and present to partners and contribute to the firm's specific strategy. And in the last few months, I've been able to find value in the mahi that I do. I can't wait to finish uni. Thank you to my Deloitte colleagues who make coming to work every single day enjoyable. To Lisa Tai, my office auntie, your leadership and nurture have been really valuable to me. Thank you. Matua Leon, who is unfortunately unable to be here tonight. At the end of the day, I wouldn't have had an opportunity without him. I honor him tonight. My key takeaway from my experience has been better ways to communicate with people. I gave a speech in week three of my internship and I had a young Pākehā graduate come up to me and tell me that I was intelligent for a rugby player. <laughs> now, I know he meant that with awesome intent. 
Yeah, I wasn't laughing at the time. <laughs> and an hour later, I came back and I was able to say, hey, my friend, I've never done this before. Are you aware that when you said that, it made me feel this way? And I was able to inform without accusing. That's a new form of communication that I've never had before. I honor that young graduate tonight because I've said far worse to people. I have walked away from conversations where people have tried to let me into their world. And I've chosen not to learn anything. So I honor him tonight. Tupitoa is more than a pool of young brown people that can deliver diversity and racial statistics. Tupitoa grows cultural architects. To the cohort I'm blessed to be a part of and who I stand to represent tonight. I see you all. And I honor you brothers and sisters. If there's anything I want to leave you with, it's this. Fano can be the hardest people to love. But I encourage you to get to the bottom of your issues because you don't know the beauty of something until it's gone. A big shout out to the staff of Tupitoa who are committed to all of us here. There is one in particular that I want to mention, a navigator by the name of Sione. You, Toko, have the heart of a father, which at its core imprints positive identity messages. I resonated with that hugely, and you inspire me to continue to pursue the greatest version of myself. I honor you tonight, my friend. I am grateful to my whanau, who number in the many, to my oldest brother, Jordan, and my two younger sisters, Summer and Kaylin. Wherever I stand, I take you with me. To my dad and mum who are here tonight, simply, I love and believe in you, and our best is yet to come. Mum, you're actually looking really skinny too. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we on. There are many of us that have brothers, sisters, fathers, cousins, friends, who we just give up on. We give up because they're too much. They're extra grace required. They take too much effort. It gets too hard to see their purpose beneath the pain they express. I just want to share with you all that I was once that kid, the one in the too hard basket. And I stand up here tonight to encourage us all to keep extending grace, to keep trying, and especially to keep believing that the ones who are often the most troubled can have the biggest and brightest futures. Finally, I am a young man of faith. I am a recipient of God's grace and his mercy. I dare to believe that you can have strong faith and excel in any environment. I have found that God can be trusted with the deepest parts of myself. My Vaha Kolo Fano have a song that we always sing, and I want to leave one verse of that with you in English. Through the years, God has brought us this far and blessed us with the memories we hold through the good times and the bad. And the happiest times and the sad For you are more than a memory You are a gift that God gave to me I thank God with all my heart For the love that you gave And the fun of that you are <laughs> My name is Freedom Kahanui Wakolo, and I am grateful. Ofatu. <laughs>